Hey, what's up, my little tater tots? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kim Solsiak and Corey Bearman, ooh, things have hit the fan. Y'all, the popo were called to the mansion. And you're not going to guess who called them. Corey did. And you're not going to guess why he called them. Because he couldn't use the bath shower. Y'all, let's get into this mess. Now, listen, let me just say this, right? Because, okay, I did think this divorce was getting fake, was fake, but now I'm beginning to actually believe that it is happening. And it's happening because Croy is out of his mind. Listen, can we get one thing straight, right? Yes, Kim Zolziak Beerman. And when she was Kim Zolziak, was a horrible person. She is a pathological liar. She looks like she has a gambling addiction if her own words can be believed. Not only that, she is superficial. She is classist. She is mean. She flirts with racism, right? She, well, actually, let me take that. No, no, no. When she was with Croy, they definitely start, listen, she went from flirting or skirting, but give, being given the benefit of the doubt to with her and Croy, they got married to them. Listen, I get why everybody has a problem with Kim. And I have been following Kim since she got on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I remember the big papa stuff. She is a mistress. She is an adulteress. Kim has a lot. Kim has tried to put her daughters out on the ooh, stroll to get John Legend VIP tickets. Kim has no shame. Kim has no scruples, right? Kim, there's so many things wrong with Kim. But that said, Croy literally wouldn't allow her to go anywhere without him for their whole marriage. Do you guys remember that Croy would literally wait for in the car for her at all times with guns in the car when she was filming with anyone? Do you remember how when Croy came into her life, Kim wasn't allowed to be friends with black people? Do you remember when Croy was in her life? How much her circle changed? She, yeah, she never had a close relationship with her parents, but he had her cut off her parents because he wasn't talking to his. Kim was literally wasn't allowed out of Croy's sight. And for people to try to paint Kim like she's this one-ton hussy that tricked poor little innocent Croy. Croy is controlling. Croy took over her life. Can we remember Croy got her fired from the number one reality TV show in America? This is, this. We listen, we're not talking season 12, right? Season 13, Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was literally fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta in real time when they were at their height. He then got their only source of income. Don't be tardy for the party. His, their only source of income. He got that shut down. Again, Kim's a horrible person. But just because Kim's wrong doesn't make Croy light. Listen to the story and don't tell me this doesn't sound like Corey is out of his GD mind. They said a tense verbal dispute between exes Croy Behrman and Kim Zolciak led the former NFL star to call the popo on his estranged wife amid their divorce proceedings. Now, I read this. I said, oh, my God. Did, did, like, what did Kim do? Listen to this, y'all. An investigation report obtained. Ooh, detailed the incident that unfolded at their Georgia home on May 2nd around 10.23 p.m., noting that Croy was first to greet officers upon arrival. They said the police initially responded to the house regarding a domestic dispute, though both claimed they did not get physical once officers were on the scene. The report stated that Kim was refusing to leave the master bathroom despite Croy expressing that he wished to shower. First of all, man, what were you doing shower? Okay, you know what? Let's just go, right? Nothing physical occurred, according to Croy. Ooh, 
who told officers this occasion marked the first time the police were called in response to an, in, to an incident involving them. Corey said there were kids home at the time, but they were already asleep and unaware of any conflict between himself and Kim. First of all, tell me this doesn't sound like delusional abuse. I'm just saying. You got kids in the house. There's cop cars flashing. The argument escalated so much you called the police to move her out the bathroom. And why wouldn't she come out the bathroom? It sounds like Kim was hiding in the bathroom. Croy is controlling. Croy with the gut. Croy is like, listen, y'all can sit there and just see Kim. But the fact that y'all, some, not y'all, but some people are trying to paint Croy like he's this poor little victim. When so much in Kim's life changed for the worse when he got involved. Listen, Corey said that the kids were home, but they were already asleep and unaware of any conflict. Okay, sure. But there's more. Kim gave a different recounting of events in the police report, telling officer that she was on the phone when Corey began shouting at her. Was she on the phone for sugar daddy? Allegedly. When Corey began shouting at her and telling her to leave, Kim said she attempted to make an exit. Corey would stand in the doorway and block her, also accusing her, she also accused Corey of chest bumping her. Kim also stated that nothing physical occurred on this date. She alleged that Corey had prevented her from calling 911 in the past by snatching her phone when they would argue and fight. Kim was advised to call the police if any of those offenses or other ones occurred. Wow. She, oh, the report stated that she was told to go to a neighbor's house if needed. Kim, Kim implied that she previously didn't want to go to authorities to, avo- that, to avoid any media attention. The cops told Troy to separate from Kim for the night so things wouldn't escalate. He was informed that he could be charged with offenses if he prevented Kim from calling 911 or forced her to stay in the home in the future. Now, no arrests were made. However, news broke in May that Kim and Croy were divorcing after 11 years of marriage on the hills. Oh, my God. I just figured something out. This whole thing when she went and the police getting called shortly after that, he filed for divorce. They have four kids, two legal. Listen, y'all, again. I know Kim is a horrible person and I am not defending Kim, but I will leave you with this point in life. Just because one person's wrong does not make the other person right. They both have atonement to do, both of them. But honestly, police are getting called because Croy is trapping Kim in the bathroom and she's scared to come out and Croy's lying to the police saying the kids didn't know anything about it. Are y'all sure? Y'all want to advocate for that man to get sole custody of those kids? I'm telling you, there's something off with Croy. There's something dark with Croy. One thing you can say about Kim, we know all her faults. There is something off with this one. I'm just saying. Y'all listen, let me know what y'all think in the comments, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.